Filet mignon is a really wonderful, high-quality piece of steak. It's a bit pricier than other cuts, so it can be a little intimidating. But whether you're splurging for a special occasion or just honing in on your skills, here's a few foolproof ways to make sure you get it right and get the most out of it. 30 minutes before you start cooking, you want to take your steak out of the fridge and let it rest at room temperature. If you grab it straight from the fridge and throw a cold steak in a hot pan, it'll bring down the pan's temperature and you won't get that great crust. Next, you want to pat your steak dry with a paper towel. This will absorb any excess moisture that could keep the steak from getting an even crust. So then you want to really generously season the steak with coarse salt and pepper. This might seem like an aggressive amount of seasoning, but you really need that much to get the flavor throughout the steak. And don't forget to cover every side. Next, we're gonna sear the steak. For searing, you should use a stainless steel or cast iron pan because they're oven safe and can maintain a high, steady heat, which you need to get a really great crust. Heat the pan over high heat for about five minutes. You can actually feel the heat coming off the pan when it's ready. Then we're gonna add a neutral oil with a high smoke point. We use grapeseed oil, but you could also use canola, vegetable, or even sunflower oil. Once you see the oil start to shimmer, like this, and it's starting to smoke, that's when you know you're ready to start searing. Place the filet in the pan and let it sit for two to three minutes without moving it. Seriously, don't move it. That's gonna allow it to form this really great crust, also known as that Maillard reaction. After that crust is formed, flip your steak. If it's sticking to the pan, that just means it's not ready yet, and you should let it keep searing until it self-releases. If you really want to enhance the flavor of your steak, you can baste it. To baste, you want to add a couple tablespoons of butter along with some herbs and garlic to the pan. Then you tilt the pan so the butter pools on one side and continuously spoon that herby butter over the steak for one to two minutes. This process is a really quick step to infuse your steak with even more flavor. Trust us, you should try it. So we're gonna finish our steak off in the oven because it's the easiest way to guarantee an even cook. Place the pan in a preheated oven at 450 degrees. Seven minutes will get you a perfectly done medium rare filet, which is what we'd recommend. It should be 130 degrees when you take it out of the oven. After letting it rest, the temperature will go up to 135. If you prefer a different cook, you can adjust the amount of time in the oven. We prefer medium rare because, well, your steak is gonna stay really tender and flavorful. Then you wanna let it rest at room temperature for about 10 minutes to make sure it stays tender and juicy. If you slice it right away, the juices will run out, which can dry out your steak. When you let it rest, the juices will absorb evenly throughout the steak, keeping it tender. The temperature will continue to rise by about five degrees while it's resting. With any steak, you want to slice it against the grain. Filet mignon is already a really tender cut of steak, but this is just an extra tip to make sure it's the best it can be. And that's all it takes. Filet mignon is a really wonderful cut of meat, but it can be pretty intimidating because of its price point. But when you want to splurge, give it a try. It's not fundamentally harder to cook than any other cuts of steak. The same principles apply. And with these few tips in mind, you're guaranteed to get a restaurant-quality steak at home. I mean, you can make it for your spouse. For yourself. For yourself. I've made it for myself many times. If you're trying to woo someone. It's a good, yeah. It's a good woo. It's a good technique. woo steak. It's a good woo steak. 